Despite breaking 18 NCAA Division II records as wide receiver, no team recruited the future Hall of Famer. In fact, the recruiter that the San Francisco 49ers thought the most of said that Jerry Rice, at best, are you listening to this students? I'm talking to the students now. He said Jerry Rice, at best, would go in the sixth round of the draft. At best. In fact, there was one person who came, according to head coach Archie Gunslinger Cooley, who was his co coach at the time, came from the San Diego Chargers. And, and I thank you for setting up the group here with the chance and whatnot, because I want to try that right now. Everybody say the San Diego Chargers. San Diego Chargers. All right, this will be a test. <laughs> a recruiter from the San Diego Chargers said that despite Jerry Rice's success, he was going to find something wrong with that Jerry Rice. You know, small town, cotton patch. Got to be something wrong with it. Now, at the risk of not being invited to come back again, I'm going to tell you what his coach said, and I'm going to use his exact words. Archie Cooley said, well, that's fine. But let me tell you something. Your ass is going to get whipped a mini day by that Jerry Rice. <laughs> Fast forward to Super Bowl 23. Okay, pay attention, we're coming to the money line here. Super Bowl 23, Jerry Rice caught 10 passes, 149 yards for three touchdowns. In a 49 to 26 victory over San Diego Chargers. <laughs> you see, students, faculty, and staff, you can't be too concerned about what people think about you. <laughs> what they say. Even what they did, even what they did in Jackson, in the funding, you can't be too concerned about that. You got to put your head down to the grindstone and do what you got to be doing. Because the San Diego Chargers are waiting for you. Okay, here's another one on play. We did that one pretty good. When I raise my hand, I want you to say, roll tight. <clears throat> <laughs> the University of Alabama Roll tide. generates $88 million in revenue each year from its football program. $88 million a year is generated from the University of Alabama Roll tide. football program every year. That's enough to fund the operations of Mississippi Valley for one year and four months just from the football program. Yet, despite its storied past and three national championships in the last five years, University of Alabama has yet to produce a more prolific NFL player than Mississippi Valley State University. The tiny college that once raised cows and pigs on a farm near the present day water tower now has the distinction of, a, of raising its first goat, a GOAT, the greatest of all time. <laughs> now I say go back. Go back. 